For these midterm elections, Democrats have been banking on abortion rights to be a key issue, but a large percentage of Americans say it is not critical to their vote. A recent ABC News Washington Post poll found abortion was only the fifth most important issue to voters. Joining me now for more on this, 538's Amelia Thompson DeVoe is here. Amelia, thank you for being here. There are five states where abortion is formally on the ballot um, for these um, elections. Can you walk us through what those measures are and what the questions are that people are actually voting on? So as you mentioned, there are five states where people will actually have the opportunity to vote on the issue of abortion. Four of those states, voters will have the opportunity to weigh in on the status of abortion within their state constitution. In three of the states, voters will be voting on whether abortion should be explicitly enshrined as a right within their state constitution. Those states are Michigan, Vermont, and California. And in a fourth state, Kentucky, they are voting on a measure um, that has to do with whether abortion is explicitly not part of the Constitution. Of those ballot measures, by far the most important is Michigan, because the status of abortion rights is genuinely unclear in that state. If the proposal passes, then abortion rights will be enshrined in the Michigan Constitution. If it fails, the status of abortion's legality in Michigan is much more up in the air. Now, in August, Kansas voters rejected a measure that would have allowed lawmakers to place more restrictions on abortion or maybe even outlaw it entirely. Do you think that's any indication of what we might see today and going forward as this issue appears on more ballots? So I think it's a signal of the fact that abortion does have extraordinary salience in this election, even though, as you mentioned, it's not necessarily at the top of voters' priority lists. The thing that's different is that the Kansas vote was quite soon after the Dobbs decision in June. We're now much further out from that decision. Abortion has faded from the headlines. And voters will be thinking about a lot of other issues when they go to cast their ballot for various candidates. So I would see what happens today as a new signal about how voters are thinking about the issue of abortion and how they're weighing it against the many other issues that they care about. Do you think abortion will be enough of a voting issue for these midterm elections to actually make a difference? The thing that I'll be keeping an eye on here is turnout. Um, one thing we've seen in polling over the past few months is that abortion rights is particularly important to young women. And that's a category of voters that would be good for Democrats if they turned out, but they typically don't turn out in midterm elections. So a big question for the Democrats and also for the Republicans is do we see higher turnout among groups who typically don't vote at high rates in midterm elections, and where do we see that turnout? Do we see it in the states that could really matter for control of governor's mansions or for the control of Congress?